hello guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'll be designing a glassmorphic signing form um, so basically i'll be starting from scratch uh, i don't have the idea yet so i'll be designing as we go uh, i'll just be freestyling it along so please feel free to follow along with me and please don't get lost and i promise you this is going to be a fun video so let's start designing so first of all i've opened figma uh, you can also open figma and follow along so um, the first thing you want to do is to go to the frame um, icon at the top menu click on frame and then bring up a desktop i'm using the desktop version which is 1440 by 1024 um, it will create a desktop artboard so this is where we'll be uh, starting our design so the first thing i want to do actually is um, I want this to be the desktop itself to be a background and the glass will be on top of it. So currently I don't have any image to put on the desktop. So we'll go on the internet and find uh, an image which will be suitable for the design we'll be designing. So let's get to it. Okay, so for the background, I want to go for a colorful gradient background and to get this type of uh, gradient background, uh, I would recommend this website products.ls.graphics. Um, they provide free mesh gradient collections and you can get them in you can get them in either Adobe Illustrate uh, Illustrator formats, um, EPS, JPEG or PNG. And for now, I'll be I'll be downloading it as an image file or a PNG file. So I'll scroll down to the collection and immediately I think I enjoy this uh, kind of pinkish bluish vibe. So I'll click on the download button. It will open the image in uh, another page. Okay, so when you click on the download button on the, um, the image, it brings you to a new page where you can um, save the image. So uh, with this image, I'll right click the image and i'll save image to download and then when we go back to our figma file i would bring this image into our figma file and then i'll mask it with the desktop but before that i'd like to resize it because it's too large so i'll click on the image and then probably divide it by two to reduce it and then try and center it to yeah right about there and yeah once we have our background um, the next thing is to add uh, the blur effects to the background before we add our sign up or sign in modal so i'll bring up my rectangle tool by pressing the r key on the keyboard and then drawing a rectangle to cover the whole artboard and then I'll select the rectangle, change the fill color to a complete white. I think it's white. Why is it this color? Um, rectangle, okay, sorry. And I'll change the rectangle to a complete white. And I'll change the opacity to about 15%. Uh, do, 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 do. Why is this not working? Okay, change the opacity to about 15%. And I'll add um, the blur effects to it. So when you click on the plus icon on the effects pane, um, we are given um, options, uh, effect options. So um, by default, you are given drop shadow, but I don't want to apply drop shadow to this um, rectangle. I want to apply a background blur. So I'll select the option. And I'll click on background blur. So uh, we are given a background blur, but you can't see it now because we have to tweak some settings a little bit before everything starts coming into shape. So with the background blur, I'll select the effect settings and I'll push the background blur, the blur property to about 40. And then now you see you can get, uh, you, we are getting this kind of blurry background. So what I'll do is I'll lock these two up so that they don't move when I'm moving things around. And then I'll bring up my rectangle tool again and then draw a rectangle to cover about this size. 
and then center it. And then I'll change the color from C4, C4, C4 to pure white. Okay, good. And then I want to make this element look like glass. So like glass, real glass in the digital space. So with the rectangle selected, um, I would like to change the edges because I don't want them to be too sharp. If it feels too sharp, it's not ideal. So I'll increase the um, to about 18 or 20. Yeah, 20 is good. And then I'll change the opacity also from 100 to about 15. And I can increase it to 20. Let's do 40. I might change this later, uh, depending on how the things will look. So let's just stick to 40 for now. And then I'll apply, I'll apply the, no, before I, I apply the effects, I would like to add a stroke um, to the rectangle to give it that kind of um, glassy effects. And for the stroke, actually, I'll change it to white. And I don't want the stroke size to be one. I want it to be smaller than one, small. So I'll give it about 0 0.5. And you can see already we are getting this glass effect. If you can see it, yes. Oh, perfect. So I'll select it and then I'll add our last final touch to the um, rectangle to make it more glassy. So I'll click the effect, uh, the plus on the effect to add an effect. And I'll select the effects. I'll change it from drop shadow to background blur. And as you can see, the background blur really brings the shape of the glass to bear. So I'll change the blur property from 4 to 40. And then now you can see we have um, some kind of hazy looking uh, background uh, 